What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We're doing a Q&A because I haven't done one in ages. We're in the Ferrari because I figured it was a slightly more fun setting than just being sat in a room. The valves are closed, so hopefully you'll be able to actually hear me. Driving around Monaco and what I did is I put an Instagram story up um, asking people to send in unusual Q&A questions. So it's not the usual, what's your favorite car? Do you have a girlfriend? All the kind of stuff that comes up in the usual Q&As and more the questions that would maybe get ignored. And I asked uh, Erwan, who sat next to me, Kerwan and Nick, who work in the office with me, to select some of the questions, and I have no idea what they're going to be. And that is today's Q&A, so let's get straight into it. I actually got asked this this morning um, by my mother, who asked me, what would you like for, for Christmas? What have you asked Father Christmas for? And uh, I, was, I actually didn't really know, and then I remembered that one thing I'm missing are new shoes. So the honest answer is new shoes. That's what uh, that's what I asked for this Christmas because I would never be bothered to kind of go get them myself. <laughs> so I wouldn't go do the shopping myself. So fantastic, perfect time, Christmas, new shoes, off we go, brilliant. No new cars incoming in any way soon. Right now is the plan. Simple answer, um, because I prefer the Ford GT. I think it looks better. Um, both, uh, you know, the SF90 for me, it's, it's an insanely cool car, but it's just kind of missing a little something. Can't quite put my finger on what it is. And also the Ford GT, I think, will be a bit more exclusive. So as boring as it may sound, it's just simply because I prefer the Ford GT, even though they are within the same money. And because I got offered one, never got offered an SF90. I asked a couple of times and um, yeah, nothing, nothing came of it. Easy, Pagani's on the 760, number one, Lexus LFA is pretty high up there. Lamborghini Murcielago, specifically Paul's Lamborghini Murcielago. Actually, let's insert a clip of that now. Those are, those are my top ones, I'd say. This sounds in incredible, but I think those are on a whole, whole new level. She was so good looking. <laughs> she had a boyfriend. Hello, yeah. darkness, my <laughs> uh, <laughs> You guys clearly... Did you, would someone send this question in? It was Miss Cole the first time. Oh, okay. Um, I would say that you're sat next to me, to me in the car right now, and also the thing that's dearest to my heart are these YouTube videos and you're the one who edits them. So I would have to sacrifice Kerwan. I'm sorry, mainly because you're in the car right next to me. Please. Thank you. This, this, this is actually a, a recurring question. Um, people ask this one a lot. And it's so hard because you don't want to seem like you're avoiding the topic, but like, Anyone else at any other job kind of just doesn't really get asked that often. So yeah, and, and I, I so I have my YouTube income right, which is one thing, and then other projects which I've spoken about, and other Q and As, etc. And in those other projects, other people are involved, and I don't want to speak kind of on their behalf as well because if you know what I'm earning, you can kind of figure out what they're earning. So what I can say, because it doesn't bother me, and I think I, you have the right to know because it's thanks to you guys, are the YouTube earnings, and at the moment. YouTube, all I can go off is last month, which I believe was around $6,000, right? Um, $6,000 last month if you combine the two channels. My vlog channel is not monetized because I want to keep the content as raw as possible. So we chose to, you know, like swear and put copyrighted music and stuff and not monetize the videos. Oh my God, that is closed. Backwards we go. Um, so, so not all the videos are monetized, but um, yeah, and then that's also without brand deals. So then, you know, go give or take, you're probably on that again with, with, with uh, or if not a bit more with, with uh, brand deals as well. So that's YouTube, which I'm fine talking about, no problem at all. Um, but uh, as far as the other stuff is concerned, I would rather not go into that, if that makes sense. So yeah, hope that still answers that a little bit. This bloody question comes up so often 
Jean Ragnotti is a legendary rally driver. I'm sure a lot of you know him. Um, and we did a rally together. Thank you to Renault Classic. And he just made a joke in like one interview about me being his his grandson. And um, and it's kind of just stuck from there. So now there's all these articles that come out. You know, whenever there's like, oh, YouTuber, you know, bought a new car. He is the grandson of legendary rally driver Jean Ragnotti. And I'm like. Absolutely not. <laughs> no way am I his grandson. I'm very proud of uh, you know my my granddads who yes were not rally world champions but um, you know loved them to bits. Sadly they're not around anymore, but I absolutely love them. Um, and you're trying to keep me focused on the road ahead <laughs> of me, aren't you? Um, <laughs> I got so distracted. God damn it. What motivates me the most is a really hard question, one that I would like to be able to think about more. <laughs> but um, off the top of my head, I would say like as stupid and maybe like um, egocentric as it sounds, I don't mean it in that way. Um, I would just say like um, that feeling of wanting to fill out a potential that I feel I could have. So pushing myself, always trying to push myself like that a little bit further and proving to myself that, um, you know, I, I wasn't a very confident kid back in the day. Uh, and I wouldn't say I'm a, I'm a hugely confident person even today, but is, you know, kind of like proving that to myself and then using that to then um, show others, look, I could do it. And I don't have any particular talent. Uh, I'm, I'm not uh, better than anyone in any way. So if I can do it, you can do it. And if I try something and it doesn't work, even using those experiences to then pass on that knowledge to say, you know, this is what I did and this is why it didn't work, let's say. So I think it's mainly like challenging myself whether they, then things work or not, would then be um, uh, translating those experiences through to other people so they can grow from it. So growing myself to help other people eventually grow would be the main thing, which is why I love YouTube and Instagram so much because you can share things so easily, so quickly. Yeah, that would be my quick answer off the top of my head. Top of my head, lad. Uh, right now, I'd say Tag Heuer Monaco. Tag Heuer Monaco is pretty cool, also because like, um, yeah, obviously Monaco is quite dear, dear to my heart. So, uh, Tag Heuer Monaco, first kind of like household name that ever um, got in touch to work with me, and Monaco is obviously where I, where well, around Monaco is where I grew up. So the two go together and that would probably be my dream watch right now. <laughs> uh, Fiat Multipla, because even though it looks like a rabbit's asshole, um, it, <laughs> it is, um, oh, go on, sir. It is um, very convenient. There's three seats in the front, no? right? So that would be kind of cool, being with three friends in the front and much more convenient to drive than to walk. So Fiat Multipla, no problem. We are filming a Christmas video, which is gonna be out soon, very soon. Christmas video coming your way. And uh, it's a whole new kind of style of video. Um, and yeah, I, I hope you guys really like it. I'm actually really excited and it was hilarious. The, the reactions that people had oof, um, were, yeah, it was it was very very good fun. So that will be out very soon. Oh, gladly, I'd love to. We've done it before. I guess we didn't like get someone to win, but we've surprised subscribers, so that kind of counts. But yeah, that would love to. We should do it anytime. Um, we kind of just did one for the Christmas video. So I guess people will be able to, to see that. Um, but yeah, we, we, we did a, like we gave away a bunch of, um, a bunch of caps. My first car was a Fiat Panda. Fiat Panda that my, so it was kind of like one of those passed down traditions at my uni. So when I arrived there, it got passed down to me. It was used as an ashtray by the school because it wasn't working was parked outside the cafeteria so when it was raining people literally used it as an ashtray we kind of fixed it up a little bit and then i ended up dropping out of uni and i passed it down to uh, someone else from the uni and then the um renault twizzy that qualifies as well right 
Yep. Still got that, use that literally every single day. Forty-five percent. It was forty in French. Yeah, well, yeah, it's gone up. <laughs> it's gone up in the last. No, let me open the valves, and it might go back down to forty. Yeah, thirty-five. <laughs> Brunette. <laughs> That's it. I'll leave that question there. <laughs> no more comment. Uh, no, there was no reason to. No reason to lie. The only one is. I'd actually sack you off and not go away. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, no, no, no. Uh, no, the whole point of these Q&As is to be open and honest. Um, real, like, X's, X's? Uh, four. What are you giggling at over there? No, like, the proper relationship, four. Yeah, I'd love to accelerate for you guys, but this car is stupidly loud. And there's the police not far off, so uh, can't do that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Completely new, um, new kind of style. I actually enjoyed that. We should do these more often. Thank you for submitting questions. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Starting to chuck it down with rain. But uh, I'll be seeing you guys again very, very soon. Also, happy holidays. Please enjoy your holidays. I hope you're able to still see your loved ones despite these weird COVID times. Um, and yeah, just hope you have a brilliant time, get to relax a bit and have a lovely, lovely Christmas. I'll be seeing you with a Christmas video very soon. Cheers guys, bye bye.